What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Moose here back with another Outriders video and if you guys are returning players or new to the game or never even stopped playing the game, it doesn't matter, you probably know that there's been a new update to Outriders, a significant update called New Horizon. Now with this update comes a ton of quality of life improvements, a new endgame 2.0 mode which we'll talk about, a transmog system, new expeditions, amongst many many other significant things. So, with that said guys, with this update, there's been a lot of new easter eggs that we're uncovering, some of which we've already done on the channel. Now the one I'm going to show you in this video is probably my favorite so far. Not only does it require you to do certain tasks to even unlock the mission, but it also comes with maybe some foreshadowing of what we're going to see with the new World Slayer update in 2022. Also with the mission, you will receive a brand new weapon as well as a brand new piece of gear. So with that said guys, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you how to get this thing done. It's very, very easy. So first and foremost, guys, you're going to start with the City of Nomads Expedition. Whatever CT you want, I believe 8 is minimum. This is the one I'm doing in the video for video purposes. It makes things a lot easier. Now, I'm not going to show you how to complete the expedition. I'm sure most of you watching this video have already done expeditions. You know how to do them. You go from beginning to end, collect your drop pod, and you win, basically. So, um, with that said, we want to get to the end of this expedition collect our drop pod that's not the most important stuff but we have to do that first we have to collect that drop pod and then from there i'm going to show you exactly what you have to do all right guys so you've completed city of nomads congratulations a plus now here's where things start to get juicy you're going to go ahead over here to the drop pod grab all of your loot your precious blue and purple loot if you're like me and played on ct8 <laughs> and then we're going to get started now guys, when you collect your drop pod, your first thought's probably going to be, let's go back to camp. Well, no, you don't want to do that, because if you do that, you're going to screw everything up, and you're not going to be able to do the mission. <laughs> so, uh, before we get started, I do want to mention, guys, a sniper is very, very useful um, for this part of the mission, because you're going to have to shoot some skulls, and some of the ranged ones might be hard to do with a shotgun, so I recommend just bringing a sniper, it doesn't matter, blue, purple, it, do it doesn't matter, as long as it's a long-range weapon. Now, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Very, very simple. Going to kick it into fast forward mode here, guys, because I'm sure you don't want to see me hightailing it all the way back to the beginning of the expedition. But this map is actually pretty small, so it shouldn't take you that long. But you are going to have to go the whole way back to the beginning where you spawned in. And this is where you're going to start doing your tasks that are required for you to unlock this secret mission. All right, so we're almost there. Eventually, we're going to make it there. We're back at the beginning, guys. So this is where you spawned in right here. Now we're going to go step by step on which skulls to shoot. As you guys can see here off to the right hand side right there. We're going to pick that bad boy off right there. And we're going to head up as if we're starting the expedition back over. And we're going to come right up here to this big middle room here. And I'll tell you what, guys, this expedition is absolutely beautiful, too, man. It looks so good. They did such a good job. Come up the stairs here right into the middle. There should be a skull in here somewhere. Yeah, there she is right there. Hiding right behind that uh, shrubbery right there. Then we're going to come up the stairs over here. We're going to come up off to the left-hand side. Up these stairs, you'll find some statues off here, uh, off to the left-hand side. We're going to take a gander at this statue right there, and we're going to miss. You're going to pop her in the head right there. There's another skull. That's your third skull, and we're going to continue forward. Now we're going to come up these stairs here, and right off to the left-hand side here. This one can be a little bit harder to see because it is dark, but as you can see, it's right there off to the left-hand side. That's your fourth skull, and we're going to keep pressing onward until we get them all. As you guys can see there, there's a nice little waterfall, cool looking waterfall there, and right in that one is another skull. Pop that one right there on the right hand side. Then we're going to come up the stairs here, wrap around the corner, and I think this next one is, no, it's not the next one. One of these were a little difficult for me to find and see, but we'll get to that. Uh, these ones here are easy, we're going to come right around this corner here. And as soon as you see this opening right here coming up on the right hand side, you're going to see one hanging from a chain. Go ahead and pop that one right there. And right beside this ammo box right here, off to the left hand side, over yonder, you'll see another one hanging out right there. Pop him. And then we're going to head in here. Now I think this next one was the one I had a difficult time. I think it's because my screen's a little bit darker. 
Uh, maybe gonna turn my brightness up or something, but we're gonna come all the way down here to the bottom. And right through here, you gotta kinda peek in there. It's somewhere there. Yeah, that's not it. I sure, oh, it's up there, right up there in the corner. I see it, but I'm overlaying my gameplay, so I didn't see it initially on the game. Missed again, but it is there. It's right there somewhere. There it is. Okay, go ahead and pop that skull right there. And we have one final skull to receive, guys. Come out these, uh, come out them doors, down the stairs, off to the left-hand side here. And give her a nice little pop. And boom, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Realm of Fear. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. All you have to do is complete City of Nomads, go ahead and collect your drop pod, head back to the beginning, and then do the skulls like I've shown in the video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show this mission. We're going to get started on it. This is a massive spoiler warning, so if you don't want to watch, you want to do it yourself, I suggest you back out now. But before you do, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe, guys, and thanks for watching. Here we go.